Brooks & Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at or call 713-665-8329. Brooks & Davis Real we also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Register for a spectacular event Thursday, May 28th at 6 p.m. at the Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm Coaching and Training Center, where you'll be able to come learn from the king of real estate. Light refreshments will be served. Seating is limited. So visit www.bit.ly backslash RSVP underscore BDREF to reserve your seat today. Come meet and speak with multi-million dollar real estate broker and co-founder of the largest black owned independent real estate brokerage in the United States, Larry W. Brooks, as he speaks on one on one coaching, the importance of support and open access for his realtors, building a team and much, much more. Mr. Brooks has helped hundreds of realtors grow and has over 33,000 followers on Instagram. He will also speak to people not yet licensed about getting past your real estate exam and the best ways to get hands-on experience. So today, reserve your seat for Thursday, May 28th at 6 p.m. at www.bit.ly backslash RSVP underscore BDREF today. See you then. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. I urge you to follow me on social media at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in the lovely city of Houston, please visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. As always, it's a pleasure to be here with you this week. Um, as always, my co-host is not only a multi-time author, he's a Texas real estate broker, serial entrepreneur, and also high producing business consultant, and also apparel designer. I would like to introduce to the audience the Texas real estate king, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, brother? Hey, man, what's going down? I love your introductions, man. What can I say, man? You fire me up every week with them. Hey, man, you. I mean, I'd be my own jump roll for a moment, though. Hey, brother, you put any more fishing rods into the water, man. This, your introduction going to be 10 minutes long. <laughs> so it's a I lot of things going that, on. Man. But first things first, man, I got to ask you about the hat. That's a, that's a new debut. This is a new, man. It's that new Pew Hustle, man. What's that? So what's we, that, that? That's that International Pacific Ocean Blue. That like, what's that blue, color man. right there, it's man? That navy blue, man. That's why I had to pop it off with a little old navy blue uh, collar polo, man. Let everybody know where they can get those hats from, brother, man. Hey, they definitely want to check for no that. No doubt about it. For all our listeners that's out there, most definitely go to purehustlenation.com. You can cop the hats, the uh, the baseball shirts, um, the tees that we got, short sets, man. It's just an amazing site. It's over the last year, Pure Hustle has grown to not just be here in the city of Houston, but mm -hmm. nationwide, man. We got orders that's coming in on a daily basis from all over. So think Pure Hustle um, and check it out, man. You know, man, I'm really excited about today's episode, man. We have two really dynamic yes, leaders indeed. and speakers with us here today. Um, they rep represent the Equinox Realty Group. And I really want to thank them publicly for carving some time out of their busy schedule. Hard to catch up with them. To <laughs> sit in with them. Oh, come on, I've man. What? I've been knowing them for some time. It's hard to get hey, them Hey, look, and we're going to go into how long, you know what I'm saying, we've all had an opportunity to interact, if not firsthand, but through people, man. So that's the great thing about being in this particular business. Yeah. But before I introduce our guests, I want to make sure we both give our heartfelt condolences and prayers for justice to the family of Mr. Ahmaud Aubrey no down in Georgia. I want everybody to know their friends and family know that everyone here at the Prime Real Estate Network support you all, and we're praying for you daily. I want everybody to be strong, and we're hoping for justice for you and your family. Yes, indeed. But without any further ado, I first would like to introduce the top producing real estate rock star over at Equinox Realty Group, Ms. Porsche Brown. Thank you. Hey. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> all right, there go your applause. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank you, guys. Thank you for um, sitting in with us. And I would also like to introduce 
not only the broker over at Equinox Realty Group, but he's currently a candidate for the Houston Association of Realtors Board of Directors. And I want to urge all real estate professionals to get out there and it's going to be vote, vote, vote time. Absolutely. And without, uh, I would like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience our guest, Mr. Jay Bradley. Man, I appreciate you. AKA, that boy J, AKA Larry, AKA I'm usually Jay, like AKA sometimes you don't know. It's inside joke. But exactly, <laughs> oh man, exactly, <laughs> it's inside exactly. joke. It's, it's, yeah, I want to thank both of y'all for that. sitting in with us, man. Uh, First things first, Jay, uh, let's talk about your candidacy okay. for the Board of Directors. Um, this is something that right now, since we're going through a lot of change from a professional standpoint and most people's personal family dynamics have been changed a little bit, I want to make sure we get the word out about the election, yeah. when it's going to be held, and how all the real estate professionals that are a member of the Houston Association of Realtors can get out and make sure they vote for you. Absolutely, man. So, um, of course, you know, the vote is all is electronic ballot that's done through the HAR website. Um, it's going to be at the top when you log in. Um, there are some amazing candidates. This year is the deepest race that I've seen um, where there's literally six people per category, if not more. Um, oh, wow. when there's usually wow. you know one or two yeah, you know yeah. so it's it's I think it's because people of COVID people have been at home and had time to you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do it this year I got time wow. got time so uh, yeah. which is good though man I mean it, it, anything that's going to allow people to, to actually get involved in the process um, not just you know we're all in real estate we're all making money to take care of our families whether that's you by yourself or that's a family of five or ten. Um, but at the end of the day, how are we going to affect change in the community through our real estate community? Um, and we have a huge platform in which to do that. Right. And a lot of us don't. And, and I'm, I'm raising my hand. You know, right. I, I've been in this business for 20 years and I didn't get involved until about three or four years ago um, and did. Um, I had the pleasure of being top 20 um, realtors under 40 um, with HAR and then um, TRLP, which is one of the most amazing experiences that I've had in real estate um, and, and an immense amount of knowledge and, and education. And then um, top 20 HBREA. And, and it's just taking that to the next level, next part of the process, which is uh, being a part of the change. You know, uh, and a question I think is really interesting. I'd like for you to share your thoughts with the public about is that as a real estate broker, mm -hmm. you have already shown that you've had the vision to lead mm -hmm. and to build an organization yeah. where you can not only service the agents that work with you, but also your clients. What is it that motivated you to want to lead even further? Man. by running for a board a board seat because there's already so many things on your plate yeah. being a broker and a leader yeah. but now you're a leader amongst leaders what is it that led to you being motivated to take on that type of responsibility first of all shout out to the question man that <laughs> <was> <laughs> i mean we just started off usually just get in the pool and kind of tiptoe a little bit down and then just kind of <laughs> get stretching we just diving deep let's do it 18 <laughs> feet let's go okay um man oprah won't be over here yeah. uh so but it's a, before that's a you great answer question it though before you answer this a great question but yes, from somebody that 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 follows you that watches your moves it just seems like a national progression for you like it's just just me just being a friend that just like hey you here you're there you're in all of the leadership spots already it just seems like you know i mean I'm, i don't mean to take the question for no, you no no i'm no. just on the outside looking in i pointed if you had if i had to say if someone asked larry who should be running for a seat i'd be like jay bradley he needs to oh, be man, a part of all of that so but go ahead my man i'm sorry i, I, I just thought that. about hey, that that's love i appreciate yeah. that man can i hug can we get a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till after Corona. We'll do the uh, elbow until after right. Corona. Um, but no, I appreciate that, man. And I, I think there is a natural progression, like you said. Um, and it's, you know, starting the company in uh, 2017 after being a broker at a Remax and being a top producer at Keller Williams and having all these other great experiences and learning from, as you know, when you're at other brokerages, right. you learn from the leader. That's yeah, right. Absolutely. Um, one of my main mentors that got me into real estate, of course, is my father. You know, a lot of people don't know that my father actually – uh, did commercial real estate as I was growing up. Wow. And so I saw him develop areas and develop corners. He worked for Chevron. And so those Chevron McDonald co-brand stores that yeah. you see, he's the one that brought those to Texas and brought them to Georgia. Wow. So You're right. that seeing is. him be passionate about, and anybody that knows me knows, I know I love to negotiate. Yeah. Put me on a deal, we got it. Yeah. We in there. Wow. We in there. That's because so I'm passionate about it, man. And that's really where, as an agent, we can affect the change for our clients. So, And I am looping this back around to your question. Mm -hmm. So in, in one of my mentors was Neil Reed. 
And so what I saw with him is the Man, way that Neil. he led Neil. R. P. Neil. Man, yeah. Man yeah. Neil was such a calm dude. Yeah. For he had a thousand agents. Yeah, I remember. I met him a few times. Yeah. Hey Jay, come on in, man. We used to shop, man. That's a, I got his I got his fashion up, man. I was oh, used to shop at Bag Rack, so I used to go through the magazines. Neil, pick this one out, pick this one out. Oh, and he's okay, Jay, we'll get that. So long story short, man. Um, and Neil was like you know sixty eight at, yeah. at the time, something mm-hmm. like that, man. Before he passed, man. But um, so you get a chance to learn from all these other great leaders. Right. So I can't take any leadership credit for myself. Um, but there becomes wow. a responsibility at a certain point that when you have a certain amount of knowledge. Are you just gonna keep it for just you, right? Right, or are you going to be able to hopefully mentor some people yeah. and help them, you know, create um, careers for themselves and create them to be entrepreneurs? Anybody that joins our company, I don't want you just to be a real estate agent. I want to teach you how to be a business owner. Okay, because okay. okay. yep. a real estate agent, you can go out there, you can make some money. Okay, cool, drive a nice car, this and that, and look pretty in the picture. But what are you gonna do as far as helping your not just your family, yeah. but the families around you? Mm-hmm. It's my job and my responsibility to take care of people that have my last name. That's right. No doubt what about, about those that don't look like me yeah. and that don't have my last name? What am I gonna do to affect change for them? Makes and sense. so that's really what it's what, what it's about. Right. It's about being able to help in areas where I previously wouldn't just sitting behind a desk um, and and making a trip to the bank. No, that's yeah. a great segue because yeah. um, there's not me and Larry don't always have the luxury of having leaders like yourself on while at the same time having one of their top producing real estate rock stars able to sit in with them as well. Mm-hmm. And the reason that that's so important, and I want to ask you this question, Porsche, is from an outsider's perspective, when you were first becoming licensed, becoming an agent and working in real estate, what was it about the Equinox group that made you want to be a part of the organization to be around like-minded professionals, what was one of the things that drew you towards working with Jay? Okay, um, so I, one thing that I love personally doing is networking. I like being around other people that I've never met before because there's been so many great opportunities that I get to actually work with um, and do business with people that I just met. So that afforded me a lot of opportunity. So um, I met Jay at a networking event I wasn't actually in the mind frame of moving brokerages from the brokerage that I was with at that time, but I met him and I was like, dang, I like the vibe and you know, he's doing something that I probably aspire to do sooner than what I thought. Right. So it just came out that way. And then once we, you know, had a couple of interviews, he interviewed me and I interviewed him. No Absolutely. Doubt about it, yeah. um, and just seeing how we could work together and get me to the point where I see my business growing um, and not having to go through so many failures beforehand because now I have a mentor yep. that is a broker who's been there, done that. I didn't know that's what I was searching for, but I just happened to find it. No, what's interesting about your answer to that question is that um, I didn't know that you had had experience with other brokerages before working with Equinox, mm-hmm. which just leads me to want to ask you, When you were out networking, developing those skills to be successful in real estate, and you've seen leadership at your first brokerage, and you've seen how it is to be at Equinox, Mm -hmm. what type of advice would you give a newly licensed agent or an agent that may feel like they're floundering Mm -hmm. where they are? Mm -hmm. What is it that gave you the strength to say, maybe I might need a change? Maybe I need to have mentorship and training from another resource. Because I know a lot of that's scary, especially when you're working with something for the first time, right. making that change. So what was going right. through your mind at that time? So um, like I stated previously, I wasn't actually in the mindset of moving broker just because I was comfortable. Okay. I was okay mm. with where I was, but then I was comfortable. Right. And I knew that if I wanted to excel um, in Go my business and as a person and all of these different things, I had to be uncomfortable. I had to get uncomfortable and I had to be okay being uncomfortable. So meeting Jay, he was that push that I needed that I didn't know that I needed. And he was doing things, I'm like, dang, I I like that. I see myself doing that on my, in my own lane, my own way, but just having that connection with someone, um, I was like, I, I I can do this. I don't have to go to multiple departments 
multiple people to get the answer that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's that's super important. And I was at a larger brokerage. So, you know, going to a a boutique brokerage, I saw benefits in doing that. Um, And for anyone who's in the business of real estate, you have to find your way on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really good to, you know, seek answers from people who you see doing things. And um, that's what I did before I got into real estate. I asked tons of questions. I'm very analytical. So I needed to know I was making the right decision before actually doing that. And like I said, he interviewed me and I interviewed him. He asked people about me and I asked people about him. I was like, is this this the right decision? Due diligence is the key. I mean, most most definitely. And, you know, still to this day, I'm, I'm very pleased with the decision that I made. Um, and it's only challenged me this every step of the way, and I'm grateful for that. You know, uh, that's great. And, you know, and I want to make sure we get into this when we come back from our break, but I want to ask Jay and yourself a little bit about your life before real estate. Okay. A lot of times, especially as leaders and entrepreneurs, people see the finished product. Right. But for our audience today, I want to help give our viewers and listeners some insight into how both of you, evolved and the trail that you had to blaze to be where you are and as successful as you have been. So I'd like to get into that a little bit once we take our break, if you don't mind. That sounds Sounds great. Everyone stay tuned to the Prime Real Estate Network. We'll be right back after hearing a short message from our sponsors. This is Rick Davis, realtor and host of the Prime Real Estate Network. Are you currently leasing or looking to relocate to the Houston area and you find yourself falling in love with the home but aren't quite in a position to purchase? Well, no worries. We offer the Right to Purchase program. We can place you in the home of your dreams at current market rental rates and give you up to three years to buy. Did you know that a majority of the homes that are for sale offer better quality than those that are for rent? So why wait? Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let me and my team help you purchase a home that you and your family can fall in love with. Give me a call today at 832-928-3963. And remember to follow the Prime Real Estate Network podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be blessed. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. You can follow me at Prime Real Estate Rick on Facebook and Instagram. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. And if you're looking for the best and the latest in men's and women's hats, fedoras, and sunglasses, visit our sponsor at shopelitestyle.com. As always, my co-host riding shotgun is the texas real estate king mr larry w brooks what's going on brother hey man enjoying the show man i got two amazing guests on today and so you know i love the nuggets that they're dropping and the feedback man i've always had an opportunity to seeing them you know do their thing and the way that they move throughout the city but you know having them on the show and letting other people see that as well man is is great those are gems that i love to have out there hey man i'm so proud to have the team from equinox realty group Real estate rock star, Miss mm-hmm. Porsche Brown. Thank you. And Miss Real Estate Broker and future H A R Board of <laughs> Directors right, member. Call. Claim yeah. it as it is. Come call on, Mr. J. Is. Bradley. Man. I want to thank both of y'all for sitting there with us, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh uh, man, we had a great time in the first segment. And um, I want to ask both of you all, and I'll start with you, Porsche. What was your life like before real estate? And what were you doing before you decided to become a businesswoman and entrepreneur? So before I got into real estate, I was in the hospitality industry. It's Preston. Mm-hmm. I was a sales manager uh, for Hyatt and uh, previously Marriott. So uh, I was already in the business of customer service and sales. Absolutely. Um, and and now I'm doing it for myself versus a, a big company. But I was laid off early 2018. And, um, you know, just similar to now, which which is bringing back so many different memories and feelings from then to now um, that is that it's crazy. But um, I was laid off and I had, 
either the opportunity to find another job in that field or do something different. And Absolutely. I wanted to take out the time to evaluate um, what I was good at, what I would you know, be great at doing. And um, as for me, I'm, I am a single mom and I have a, a young daughter and I wanted to spend time with her and I wanted um, to make sure that I'm never placed in a position where someone has priority or control over the income that I can make. Right. And um, real estate kept coming up. Um, I continued to actually go out and network at events and meet people that were real estate agents and doing things. And I, and I got uh, a lot of different opinions, but what I did not want to do was ponder right. on those opinions because that would have probably psyched me out and not gotten into real estate. So I went back to school, got my license, and within a month and a half, I joined a brokerage and started um, actively selling. Now, you know, even though I got my license, I was actually in the classroom for a good six months. Mm -hmm. I did not want to mess up anybody's transaction. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> even though I took that test and I passed, I still needed education. Huh. And I think that's super important for new agents Absolutely. to still seek the knowledge after even getting your license because that test does not tell you how to be an agent, no, not how to deal world. with difficult customers, <laughs> um, all of those different things. And um, I wanted to also make good connections and relationships with other agents, top producing agents, mm -hmm. because I learned from people who were doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting that you talk about that um, you were laid off and that served as a catalyst. It did. I want to ask you, were you having any thoughts about making a career change leading up to being laid off? And the reason why I bring that up is because right now we're, there's going to be um, probably numerous members of our audience dealing with a current layoff situation. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting on the sidelines trying to decide, should I get involved? Is entrepreneurship, is being a business owner, is that something that's for me? Right. So can you talk about some of the and just briefly talk about some of the things that you had to go and work towards in your own mind mm -hmm. to give yourself the push to get involved. So before real estate, I did not think to have multiple streams of income. I did not think of myself as becoming an entrepreneur at any point during that time. Oh, wow. And I was taught to go to college and get a career mm -hmm. and work there until oh. however long. <laughs> yeah. So I had to change my mindset. That's like so who important. that person was back there, I don't know her no more. That's what because I'm that's about. not <laughs> because no, that's literally right. that is not who this person is right here. I am not the same person. I, I want to thank you so much for sharing your story and your testimony. Because I think um, sometimes as leaders and business professionals, we underestimate our influence over the people around us. Mm -hmm. And that brings me back to you, Jay. Um, it's, it's amazing because Larry and I have had opportunity to talk about you. And I've done my due diligence online, researching your organization and some of your successes. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine you in any other line of work outside of what you've been doing. But for our audience yeah. who haven't had the opportunity to be friends with you for 20 plus years, right. can you talk about mm -hmm. your entrepreneurial journey and what you were doing before you decided to become a business and professional leader? Well, man, um, so I knew what I wanted to do when I was three. Oh, and wow. since so, I'm just 23 yeah. right now, <laughs> I've been in the business 20 years. That's really not much. That was pretty much um, <laughs> Great answer, uh, man. I mean, yeah, look, kindergarten and then uh, <laughs> just jump into real estate. You know, right? back then they used to let you get your license at three. You know, that's right. enough. You get, you um, <laughs> back then they let you get your, <laughs> yeah, you get your license right. at three. You just come straight out the get room it going, and just bro, let me go and take this test real quick, come man. On. Yeah. Agency was hard at three. It was hard. It was hard. But no, on a serious note, it was it was. So my background in sales, um, I started off in college uh, managing an actual uh, call center, man. I had worked as one of the people that was on the phone, calling your phone, blowing you up, getting hung up on. Um, <laughs> and through that, you understand that a no is just yeah. not right now or the next call. Absolutely. Right? Crazy. Um, because in business, you will have failures. Um, and the failure is really the setup for the success. Man. If you don't man. go through you that no, know. then you don't really appreciate the yes, yep. you know. Um, and so, and then I became the manager of that call, call center. And then, so I got a chance to analyze other people's processes. Right. So a lot, and Porsche will probably tell you this story. There was a time when she was on the phone with somebody. 
and she was leaving somebody a voicemail that hadn't called her back. Mm -hmm. And so she was like, well, this is Porsche, what are you with the group? I'm just giving you a call. You know, I'll give you a couple messages. Give me a call whenever you get a chance. I went over to her phone before she hung it up and I hit the start button. She's like, what are you doing? I said, because you're going to redo that voicemail. Mm. I said, what did you leave them for them to want to call you back? They got your other voicemails. We know mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you didn't incentivize them because people look through things from their eyes yeah. and what they want. What mm -hmm. you want has nothing to do with it. Yep. You know, that's just a caveat. But at the end of the day, it's what they want, and you need to be on the same page. What you want and what they want needs to line up, and then that's where you'll get what you need. Now, and this, and this was so great about having um, been in this space, because we've had entrepreneurs on here. This is what, Larry, episode 85. Mm -hmm. Wow, y'all are deep. And, and, and what you come to you find out, you start, no, I'm gonna you, you, know, you start to see, I'm going to tell you, you start seeing a similar thread, though, that sales, yeah. Yeah. That, that, I hate to say it, cold calling background. Yeah. It's something about people who've been yeah. hung up on for a living yeah. Yeah. that puts you in a position to be great and successful in this space. Yeah. So who introduced you to the real estate portion? Because from the way that you explain and illustrate your story, you would have been successful in that space. Yeah, or maybe. Yeah. But when, when did it switch where you took those expert salesman skills and brought it into a real estate and service space for clients? Who motivated you? Was it a book? Was it a seminar? Was it a friend, coworker, former classmate? I'm, I'm a reader. Me and me and Larry kind of have this in, in, in common is that I'm a reader. And so what I would study is where people generated wealth from, right? Yes, sir. All no of doubt. them, you know, eight out of 10 people, um, when they generated wealth, not, okay, this, I had millions in, in, you know, mommy and daddy gave it to me and then I grew it from there. Mm -hmm. um, literally started with, you know, a small amount and, and created something out of that. Um, God gives us all those abilities. Absolutely. And, and we just got to figure out which lane and, and it's really just kind of praying about where we're supposed to go with the abilities that he gives us, that's right? right? And just kind of being a good steward of the talents that God has already given you. So for me, that's what my prayer was. Is like, and my mom would always tell me, she's like, baby, I don't care what you do. Just, if you're going to be a ditch digger, be the best <laughs> ditch digger this side <laughs> of the Mississippi. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right? No so doubt. if you're going to be a trash man, you slang trash like, like it's nobody's business. Yeah. And so it it's really comes from a spirit of excellence more than the career. And then so when the career part came in, I saw my dad negotiate deals. I mean, this dude's passionate. My dad is my mentor, my best friend. Right. And so seeing him and having that influence, which is a blessing to have him on a daily basis, to be able to impact, I think it was just ingraining that like, yo, this is dope what he's doing. Yeah. Man, he's, he's, he's literally saving his company money. He's literally fighting for people. So, and I love to argue, my parents are like, be an attorney, please. <laughs> I'm tired of it, just you argue yeah. everything. And sometimes it's just the answer, that's it. And so the combination of the two work. Now, this is something that I just happen to know from being able to have conversations with you when the red light's not blinking. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's gonna be um, <laughs> a lot of events and a lot of networking opportunities leading up to your election. Mm -hmm. So for the members of our audience who would like to follow you and be engaged with you um, virtually and dynamically, how can they follow you and what events do you have coming up that members of our audience can be involved in? So we usually will do a, um, a kind of appreciation or some type of event at our office and we're, we're actually planning one. We were talking about it last night, a, an art um, kind of expo, bringing some young artists in and kind of, you know, having a uh, bartender and all this stuff. But with COVID right now, I'm not exactly sure prior to the election if we're going to be able to do any of that. Mm -hmm. So just really, um, I haven't even, I, I announced it here. I haven't even announced it on, on my uh, on my Instagram or my Facebook or Features. on our websites at all. Like, mm -hmm. um, Come on. You know, I'm trying to say something for y'all. Appreciate <laughs> 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 So, um, on episode 85, breaking a little news out here. That's what it is. We get the gems on 85. So, um, but yeah, so that's it, man. So, my, my uh, IG is going to be J Brad. So, that's J A Y B as in boy, R A D as in David. And then my website's the same. My personal website is the same, which is J Brad. Um, and then, of course, Equinox Realty Group. Um, Absolutely. Page, so yeah. And Miss Porsche, because I'm looking at um, some of the mentions and comments in our chat. You've mm -hmm. had great a great reception from the audience, so I want to ask mm -hmm. you, um, how can everyone follow you on IG, and cool. um, do you have any IG live posts? How often do you do them, or what can people expect when they follow you on social media? Yes, so I am super active on IG. Um, my handle is at Realtor Porsche, uh, P-O-R-S-H-A-E. 
and of course you can follow me on Facebook, uh, which is Porsche Brown, P O R S H A E Brown, like the color. Mm. And um, I I definitely love staying active on social media. I've gained so much business just from doing so because of the clientele that I serve. They're super active online, and, and they're, they're. I try to meet their needs by giving them updates of what's happening in the market. And people love seeing homes from the comfort of their phone. And um, I, I literally get leads just by presenting who I am and showcasing what I can do by that. So um, if you guys, of course, you know, need anything, I'm, I'm super responsive as well because that's an important part of the business. You have to be able to respond in order to, to get that business. So I'm, I'm going to jump in real that. quick before you. I've seen her work over the last, uh, say, what, almost you know, nine months? about where we are mm -hmm. um, from the time she walked into our, our door within a week I gave her a nickname called Beast Mode <laughs> I've never mm -hmm. seen her work uh, somebody work so hard and, and have, just be tenacious about learning yeah. um, and you know at, she can be in the middle of the phone calling up hey 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 let's do that differently you're representing huh. this brand right and it's always a okay cool you know and go there and that's um, and always most people have a have a they're kind of resistant to that um, because they're so comfortable in what they've done and so that's why her clientele has grown that way she'll be at the so office so of 10 11 i mean you know there's going to always be a natural well, chemistry uh, from like-minded professionals yeah mm -hmm. and i'm sure the audience can feel it and larry and i have observed it in this short time we've been together mr brooksy what we got going, man? Brooks Nothing. and Davis. Shout out to the nope. No, 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 Memorial no, no, no. Day weekend. I'm, okay, I'm but find we, me. we got <laughs> bigger. No, but we got big event. Big event. Your book signing. Book signing. So uh, Thursday. This is it. This is important. Everybody take this in. This is important. Thursday right. next week, uh, May twenty eighth at six o'clock. We'll be at the Brooks and Davis Training Center, and I'll be hosting my book lunch. So I just came out with a new book, Footprints of Success. Uh, talk about the Pure Hustle brand and how they got started, and then how I, as a child, I was always a hustler. So hey man, that's what's in the book. Okay. That's what we'll be talking about. So be there. All right, okay, I'm not going to let you forget about the book signing. <laughs> yeah, no I'll be also appearing at Mr. Brooks's book signing. I'll be introducing everyone to my quarantine beard. I've been getting a lot of texts <laughs> and comments in the chat about my quarantine beard. So if you would like to meet me and my beard in person, come to Mr. Brooks's book signing. But in all seriousness, I want to thank the team from Equinox Realty Group, the Texas Real Estate no King, Mr. Larry Brother, Brooks, for holding it down with me this week. I urge everyone. Be safe, be blessed, tune into the Prime Real Estate Network, and we'll see you all next Thursday. Thanks again. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, is marketing a property for sale right now that you can buy. These properties range from land lots for under $20,000 to move-in ready homes, $500,000 and more, along with everything in between. To see this week's list of properties for sale you can buy now, go to bit.ly backslash BDREF weekly list. That's B I T dot L Y backslash BDREF weekly list. If you plan on selling some real estate and you need it on the weekly list, call 713 665 8329 to speak with someone about it.